Next, a special one. Looking back and ahead at the same time. 12-28-2011. Happy New Year. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's pretty good. How about you? I got Kool-Aid today. Yeah? What yeah. flavor? Blood red. Hmm. It's kind of dark in here. It is. What's that about? Well, um, if somebody would say hi. Hey, hi. How's, how's it going over there? It's going good. So, uh, now we, you notice that we have a third voice in our two-voice field. Wow, well, it's mm-hmm. a dimensional leap. In, indeed it is. <laughs> so, can you introduce yourself, stranger? Yeah, I'm uh, William. Okay, uh, that's a good start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what do you do, William? This, this could, like, I know everybody knows that we're in college and stuff, so... Yeah. High schooler, have no life. Literally, no life. Yes, and while we had no life, we went to... Um, Menards, our local hardware store, to purchase blood red Kool Aid and orbs of darkness, which we have illuminated to the ceiling. Now. Well, also known as black lights, but we can't get too technical here. Well, and also fake solo cups. And fake red solo cups <laughs> for our fake red blood things. And if you're wondering why we're having orbs of darkness and blood red Kool Aid, it's because we just found out that all of us have chosen necromancy <laughs> as either our primary or secondary profession on our most recent game. And that would be Guild Wars. Guild Wars 1, not 2. Indeed. Agreed. <laughs> but, anyways. Yeah. So. So, did, did you hear that, like, uh, on Saturday it's New Year's Eve and. You know, it's almost a new year. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. Got any thoughts about that? Well, it's been a long year. It's been a whole, like, 365 days. <laughs> Depends think, on who you ask. You think next year's going to be longer? It's going to be 366 days. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I, I tried to open Firefox and it explodes. <laughs> hey, you, you want to know something? <laughs> Firefox that, does that? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I think this was the year that they changed over from, uh, you know, the regular incremental... You know, uh, you know, every few months to release oh, a new yeah. big version. Now yeah. it's just release a new one every week. Yeah, like four was the last one, right? I think so. Four like, was I, four I downloaded was... four, and then all of a sudden I saw seven. seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I mean they just they just go by so quickly. Yes, they do. Yeah, just like the saying, "Little people grow up fast." Indeed. Yeah, and then um, I do like how Chrome. You just. You don't really see updates for Chrome. It just kind of does things. Like, you, like there's no thing. Like, you know, there's always mm-hmm. different versions of Chrome. But you don't know there's different versions right, of Chrome. Right, because it's so incremental. Mm-hmm. And so so paced well. Yeah, I, I and really... And also it updates itself. Yeah, I, I don't like having to deal with stuff. I don't like every time I open Chrome, it says... Or, I mean, not Chrome, I'm sorry. Uh, Firefox. I don't want it to say, Hey, guess what? We're not going to load all your lost tabs. We're just going to load this... <laughs> hey, your Mozilla has updated overnight. I know. Uh, you know, one of the things about uh, Chrome is when I uh, upgraded to when I got this MacBook Air, uh, Chrome hadn't been lionized yet, so it didn't have full screen that was native, and it didn't have uh, Safari like gestures. Um, mm. But then one day they just appeared. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. And things happen like that in Chrome. Yeah. Yeah. So, so speaking of something else about Google, what about Google Music? Oh, you use that. You know, you know they're promoting it a lot now because apparently. Uh, this week, you know, the Christmas is just a few days ago, last week, mm-hmm. and uh, 3.7 million Android devices were activated. So a lot of people have just got their new Android device, and now they, yeah. you know, they're in the market, and they're just buying music left and right. So they have a big promotion right now. Hmm. Cool. I'm not using it. Are you using it? Were you in the beta? Yes, I was in the beta. I How'd was in the beta three months before you. How'd that go? Um, I listened to... Uh, it suggested this person, and I listened to it, and I'm like, okay, and then I was done. I don't even remember what it was. So, William, have, were you in the beta? No. Uh, do you have music? Yes. Do you use iTunes for that? Yes. How's that? How does that work for you? Okay, as long as I don't want to actually listen to it while running iTunes. Okay, moving along. <laughs> uh, so, how about Google Plus? What do you think about Google Plus? To be honest, I do like how. It, it's easy to distinguish groups from groups because um, and on Facebook I'm in a like a little venturing club thing mm-hmm. um, crew and I can't use the crew thing and Facebook at the same time like it's, it's just, they're they're not separate they're yeah. it's pretend it doesn't exist and I, I want it to be like you have just actual circles and stuff. yeah I like that too um, my favorite feature of Google Plus is how easy it is to take pictures from my phone and put them on. Google Plus, and it does it all for me. Yeah. I just take them, and then it sinks in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I enjoy that feature. 
Yeah, I think you aired um, a toner disaster yeah. without me even noticing. Not my problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was all of our problems, actually. <laughs> you Anybody hit- who had a set of lungs in this room had a problem. <laughs> you, you, you took the brunt of the toner disaster. <laughs> yes, so, I did. So do you think Google Plus is sustainable? Uh, I think just this week uh, somebody announced that they broke the 60 million user mark. Yeah, uh, nice. um, about that. So you know how when Google... Um, Plus came out. Every it was so popular. Yep. I was reading an article that after a month, like they Google, like you know how they 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 have a thing to see how long people are spending on Google Plus. They released that after like everybody used it for like a couple weeks, and then nobody used it. Like yeah. even though they have all these accounts and all these things, um, a lot of people just kind of stopped using them pretty quick. Sixty million accounts with one minute use a week. No, I mean they they um, use it really heavily for a few weeks, and then they just kind of stop. Yeah, I, th- mm-hmm. I, I, th- I, I noticed that, too. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I never go on there to post things anymore, except for pictures. And then I link the pictures back to Facebook anyway. Yeah. Like, whenever I post pictures, I know I just have Twitterific, and it's just a little button. Yeah. yeah. That's really nice. It I really wish is. I had Twitterific still. Yeah. So, um... It's terrific. Just earlier this month, Ice Cream Sandwich came out. Mm. Oh, yes, it did. Yeah. Uh, any thoughts yeah. about Ice Cream Sandwich? Um, see, no. us over here, we're, we're all in the iPod and iPad side. We don't have to I, deal I, with it. iPad Guild? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But much better than our Steinsgate Guild. Uh, mm-hmm. See, I, I, I can't afford that guild. You can't afford not to. It's so much nicer. It is nicer, but I can't afford an iPhone. When you try to play music and talk on the phone, it doesn't lock you out for a half hour. Yeah, it's been, you known, to, it's been known to do that. It has. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, tell me, you said you can't afford to do that, but didn't you buy your two hundred fifty dollars phone twice? No, I bought it was one hundred fifty dollars. That's a hundred fifty dollars phone. I bought it one point five times. So you bought it one point <laughs> five times. So explain to for our listeners how that happened. Oh, it's funny you mention that because uh, Radio Shack has this plan where. They reimburse you the cost of the phone plus tax. So whatever you paid for it, essentially. Mm -hmm. Uh, And the only money you're losing out is the cost of the plan, which was $30. So, you know, if you have a phone that's $150, you approximately get $160 back. Okay. Um, Yeah. So uh, I bought my phone for $150, and, you know, it was $165 with tax. And and then a few months, you know, a few weeks later, there was dust under the screen. Mm Mm-hmm. And I didn't like that, so I brought it back, and I got a gift card for $160. But Virgin Mobile, in their infinite wisdom, decided to raise the price of the phone nationally to 199 so 200 mm-hmm. And so I had to pay the difference, and tax, and a new plan. Yes. So it was buying it 1.5 times. So what happens if you get a defective Apple product? I think you just bring it in, and they just take a look at it so, for you. Like, let's... T- so if you have, let's say, a MacBook Air, and it's creating a furnace like inside of itself, it's just <laughs> nuclear reactive and just trying to destroy the whole world, Yes. what could you do about that? I think you just bring it in, and they'll either fix it or give you a new one. Yeah. But let me tell you the problem with that. We're talking about a phone, and I can't afford the iPhone. Okay. It's not that bad. It is plus actually that bad. $80 a month plus your soul. Yeah, mostly just your soul. I, well, Soul, anyway. all limbs, and anything else you may ever make for the rest of your life? Yeah. But you know, maybe maybe, they, maybe there will be some good Android phones since Google bought Motorola this year. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. That was a long time. That was ago. like um, mid mid summer, July maybe. Uh, like I said, you know how talks are about that. Like I only read the talks. I don't read when it actually happens. Like yeah. you know how that works. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. But maybe Motorola will make some really nice phones since they are collaborative with Google now. Yeah, I mean, and by it was collaborative, just six I mean ago. owned. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe the um, maybe the next Nexus phone won't be from Samsung. Maybe it'll be Motorola. Ooh, I don't know about that. They're, if it's really if Sam, the Samsung little Galaxy things, they're so good. Not Galaxy change. phones. Or, the Nexus phones. Oh, Nexus. Oh, the Nexus. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought, yeah, my bad. I see you are a little sleep deprived. I got some intel. <laughs> yeah, I didn't fall asleep till six thirty this morning. Anyway, um, so so you know what pre- what company did not make any news this year? What search with an M? Microsoft. That's right. That's, mm-hmm. You know, you know. So I remember during the summer, I was eagerly watching the Facebook announcement where Microsoft was, you know, at the announcement with the Skype people that they j- j- had just purchased. Mm-hmm. And so I remember that mm-hmm. announcement. And so, what do you think about Microsoft buying Skype? 
haven't noticed anything change yet. Uh, you know, I, I, tell, I tell people that Microsoft bought Skype, and they say, really? Didn't know that. Nobody reads the news, apparently. Well, uh, there, nothing changed, really. That's not my problem. You should read the news. Nothing yeah. changed with Skype, though. Or maybe you should listen to a podcast. Yeah, I don't think we started that yet. No, right did, that no not at all. We'll, we'll make up fake old episodes. You know, you know that's been known to happen. I know. Uh, so, yeah. what do you think about Windows 8? Oh, it's so ugly. They gotta get it out soon. It's really it takes its time. I yeah, well, well, I think we should let it take its time. Yeah, we. Don't, I don't want it to come for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the current version is a little bad. Uh, so we're we're talking about the uh, developer preview, of course, meant for developers, and uh, you know it, it wasn't that great in our opinion. Yeah, it really wasn't. Um, uh, it, the, uh, of course, we've been running it in a VM. We didn't want to sacrifice an entire computer for that uh, atrocity. But you, you get the whole layout. You get to see how the file, right. like uh, every, like if you want to access something, it just looks so bad and it's so hard to find things. Like I know, I know for a big example of how bad it is. The um, taskbar doesn't have a start menu button anymore. It has a button to bring you back to the Metro interface home screen. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I just don't like it. But think back for in the history of Microsoft products, you always skip one. It, it's true. You definitely always mm-hmm. skip one. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna skip eight and go straight to seven then. How about nine? Or nine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, that's totally the plan. Yeah, something like that. So that that's good at least. Um. So, Microsoft, what, what do you think their next big thing is, then? Do you think it's Windows 9, or do you think it's something they haven't talked about? Uh, Xbox Ultra something or other. Oh, okay, so you think it's yeah. going to be in the game division. That's all they have. Yeah, they're really, I think so, too. It really is all they have. Or they can also have, bring back their um, Zune market. No. no Doesn't no. that still exist? No, 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 no. Zune died this year. Yes, oh, we didn't have, we don't have that. No, no, it was just, I think it was just in November when they officially declared the Zune dead. Ah. Yeah, but then they also say Zune is dead, and then they didn't tell anybody they brought it back, and yeah. then they had killed it again. Yeah, pretty much. No, that was Google Labs. No, or, but, the, but Wave, Google Wave. No, but that is, um, yeah. that is also the Zune, because I remember... Um, I got a death th- notice, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I got that, too. A certificate of death. <laughs> yeah, um, but for the nice. Zune, the Zune homepage on Microsoft.com somewhere, it disappeared for a couple of days, you know, and just for a forward... And people were concerned, like, oh, maybe Microsoft is silently killing it off. And then, you know, a week later, they brought it back saying, oh, that was a mistake. And then two weeks later, oh, never mind, that actually was true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I know you didn't, weren't, none of you were heavy users of Google Wave, but um, I really liked it. And then they just told everybody, get off this, because it's going away at the end of the month. And then all of a um, sudden, it was back. They open sourced a lot of the technology behind it. I think you can find it um, somewhere else. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it's called though. It's uh, they bought a company that had a lot of functionality that was put into Wave, and then the company mm. that they bought was spun back out because Wave died. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So they sold the company because they weren't making. I don't know any if they money. really sold it, but they just kind of spun it back out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. happens. Yeah, not everything works right. Mm-mm. Yeah. So Yahoo. Yahoo. Uh, it, it's been pretty bad for them lately. Yeah. Yeah. They. Uh, they uh, might be bought by somebody. Yeah, I mean, because you know how Microsoft loves buying companies that are losing millions and millions of dollars each do you think, day. Do you think? Do you think they uh, should? No, but Good. I think they're going to. Well, so you know, yeah, I wonder if they're trying... powered by Bing, right? For really? the search, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think that has any any incentive to make them buy it? Because I think if, it might be. Like, if somebody else bought it, they might that deal might go away quicker than it would yeah. otherwise. You know, it's so weird. Like, you know how all of us use Google because it works. Um, mm-hmm. There's still a huge percent of the people that, like, I know a lot of people that just use Yahoo mm-hmm. account, and it, it's impossible to use. I think they're trying to get the client, like, they, they want not the Yahoo itself, but just the people that use Yahoo. Oh, definitely. I, I, I know, think that's the um, only goal behind I it. I know um, if they could merge Yahoo and Hotmail, that would be huge. Yeah, because, you know, two junk things mixed together it makes a really junky thing, but it makes a lot of people using something really junky like Internet Explorer. Like, everybody in the world just have to use it because it's yeah, there. Kind of kind of like that, you know, all yeah. 8.3% of Internet Explorer. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's Internet Explorer 6. Oh, is that it? That's too bad. Okay. But everybody else still uses 9. i, I got to find out how much... 
what the penetration of nine is? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's pretty bad. No. But hey, the government uses it, so it's fine. Mm, I doubt it. They do. Yeah. Pretty sure the government's stuck at six or something. Seven, maybe. Yeah, something like Whatever that. Whatever the highest XP can handle. Yeah. No, the, uh, my dad in the IT department just got a bunch of brand new Windows 7 laptops. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Uh, and so didn't you, weren't you at a DMV earlier today, yesterday, right? Yep, just got my license. Yeah, or, so no, what permit. Yes, you did get your permit. <laughs> so what operating system were you, it was all computer based, right? Yeah. Um, so can you tell us about that? Like what was the government using for that? The government had a touch screen, not clue what brand it was because they had it really nice locked up in a box. Mm-hmm. And there, you couldn't see anything but the actual test. It was set up automatically for you. And yeah, and it was no all nothing. touch screen? Yep, all touch screen. Yeah, it was just like when I had to take it. But it sounds reasonable. Yeah, so in the next years, what do you think? Like, there's um, still lots Was there of a stuff. mouse on the screen? Uh, I didn't have a mouse. No, it was just wherever you... It, so, like, you were literally touching buttons and that was it. It wasn't like you were touching a stylus. Yeah. Like, like yeah. I mean, your finger was the stylus. Yeah, it's it kind of like a kiosk at an ATM or photo okay. developer. Okay, because yeah. cause I know a lot of kiosks have a mouse on the screen anyway. Hmm. Mm. That sounds defeating the purpose. It is. Yeah, the, the, I didn't notice that. But then I, I took my test a few years ago. Yeah. Or, the one thing that it did do is whenever it loaded a new screen, right over the letter, or right around the letter A, it would have, like, a very light line. Okay. I think that may have been maybe the cursor, but... Mm, okay. Yeah. That's but, interesting. What's yeah. interesting is that, like, all the... I mean, what kind of... Like, I know you, when you get your stuff, you have to fill out paperwork and stuff, but yeah. everything's moving to... Like, it's a lot faster than having to grade a test and stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thing instantly... I could click at the top, click the status bus button, and it would tell me what percentage I'm at, how many right, how many wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, it, that's a, that's how the world should be. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's, it's going there. It's just taking a while. Do you, do you think that that'll become more uh, common? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I'm, I have to I have to renew my passport because I'm a minor, mm-hmm. and I got it a few years ago when what I was What are you doing with Canada. your passport? Going to Canada. Okay, just making sure. Because you needed... I didn't have a driver's license or anything then, so I just got a passport. Because before you didn't have to use a passport yes, to get to Canada. Yes, I, I remember. But now that's all changed. I haven't been there recently, though. Yeah. Um, if I go there, I'll make sure to bring you back some absurd uh, French fries and gravy. Oh, thank you. I love those. Those, those are actually really good. <laughs> yeah, you keep on pretending. Okay. Anyway, They're okay. Let's move on. Um, What's next? I forgot my point. Apple. Well, Apple. Apple's always next. Yeah. So what about Apple? What's the big news about Apple this year? Jobs died. Who? Steve Jobs. Oh, Steve Jobs. Mm-hmm. He died, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any coverage about that in the news. No, none. I no. don't think either of us have plaques of him hanging on our wall. Do you have one uh, hanging on your wall? Got to find the picture. <laughs> yeah, so we, we we gave you a picture and you just threw it in your backpack and never took it out. Pretty much, it's probably still there. That is really sad. I have it framed and hanging above my bed. I don't. Wasn't have it, it at the head of your table for a while? Tell your mom told you to take it down. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. That is pretty funny. Yeah. Um. So, so do you think the death has had any impact on Apple so far? <sighs> they may have changed the direction they were heading in. No, no. Jobs had this thing planned out for a while. Hmm. Like. He still had like he, people are claiming that he, all his plans, like he's had things planned for a long time for coming. I mean, he's known he was going to die for years. Yeah. So, and one one can imagine that he's he, had plans. Yeah, he probably has had them out there. Um. So, how, what, what do you think Tim Cook will do in the upcoming year? Well, he's definitely going to work on his presentation skills. <laughs> well, we've only seen one presentation with him, really, not counting the. Um, Quarterly earnings presentations, but the, I mean the product. I, I, I want product demonstrations. The, the product presentations. He, he, I agree. He needs to work on that. Yeah, I mean he can't ever be jobs at like, but yeah, but yeah. he'll get better, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So, do you think they'll he'll have more of the division leaders come up, division vice presidents like Phil Schiller and mm. um, the other guy? I don't know who that is either. <laughs> um, um, uh, Phil Schiller, I believe, is uh, VP of Product Marketing. But you know how Jobs, like whenever you watch the keynote, like he always does the main thing, and, and then he like lets all the grunts do all the little but stuff. But like in the 4S presentation, like Phil Schiller introduced the 4S. 
Mm. Yeah. So do you think that'll happen more with Tim Cook running the presentations? Yeah. I mean, if you look at other companies, like how involved are the CEOs? No, he's not CEO. He's chairman of the board. No, he upgraded yeah, from chairman of the board. I think he's CEO now. Yeah, it, it, it's changed yeah, a lot. Well, it, yeah, Some companies, the CEO does has nothing. N- other yeah, companies. Has, lots of CEOs are like that. Yeah, definitely. So it's so hard to say where he could go. He might just withdraw. He might. But no, I don't think he's withdrawing. Well, the thing is, though, is maybe that's the way Apple does things, is they have their CEO out front doing everything. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. just in the back behind a desk. Well, anyway, uh, so the next, what's the next product Apple's coming out with? Um, iPad 3. Is it? I think that's the next one in the line. So it's a, it's, it's a mix-up because they've changed the product cycle because of... Uh, this year, the iPhone 4S came out instead of a 5, and it came out really late instead of in June. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I think the next one's just going to be... What's the next it? product? Uh, MacBook Pros? You think some MacBook Pros are going to be next? Or an iPad 3s? Um, see, I think they're going to push the iPad 3 until June. Um, oh, really? So that'll be the keynote thing in June. That'll be the big product release for June. And then iPhones will be in, uh, what do you call it, uh, like fall, maybe late September, October. Fourth quarter? Yeah, kind of like that. You know, I know that it, the cycle changes a lot, but before it was like, you know how you, like jobs would say, all right, this, this, this day is all about hardware, and then this day is all about software. Like, I think it was kind of hard to, to divide everything up like that. But. Um, well, yes and no. Well, nobody, nobody's heard anything about iOS 6. I know, but if you have the iPad 3, you have to show some cool stuff with it. Well, what if like, they're... Com- yeah, I, I agree. Mean, with the new MacBooks, you can just throw a line on it, and it's just as good. Uh, but, so, mm-hmm. like, I think I think what they, what they could do is they could say, like, so here's iOS 6, here's a preview of iOS 6. Because so they did this for 4. They did a preview... In like March or something for iOS five, mm-hmm. and then they released it, you know, in September. Mm-hmm. So here's a preview for iOS six, and then the one more thing at the end will be new MacBook Pros with mm-hmm. streamlined in the MacBook Air fo- style or fashion. Yeah. Um, so are like, they are like, they trying to get rid of their lines then and combine multiple lines? No, they're not trying to combine lines. They're trying to differentiate them more um, towards being thinner and better and better. I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you think Surrey will ever not be phone only? I do. So do you think someday on my iPad 3, I'll be able to use Surrey? Absolutely. Yeah. Eventually it'll be on everything. I think so. But uh, not the old stuff. No, no not, not the, the old, old stuff. stuff. You yeah. can't. I want it on my iPad 2. No, you don't need that. Get a new one. <laughs> Gonna have That's to. how Apple does it. They make you constantly like, I mean, like, it couldn't be on the MacBook Air. It can't hear me. Like, the MacBook Air speaker... Or a mic is like on the side or something. Then that's insane. It should but be on the screen. It should be right next to the camera in the middle of. It should be on the screen, so where, that's yeah, where I'm talking. No, if yeah. you run a cable up for the mic, then you, it's not see through. You see, if you hold it up to the sun, you'd see the cable. <laughs> that's true. That's true. True. Uh, but I, I do think that Siri will come out yeah. for other devices as soon as they figure out the load issues because it crashes a lot right now. Their hmm. servers will go down hundreds of times. Yeah. That they just have to get more servers to fix that problem. But it's a more than just a server issue. It's yeah. like it's a bottleneck for bandwidth and scaling mm. because they only have one data center, I think, in North Carolina. They should break it up or do what Skype does, and then just. Uh, I don't think they can do that because Skype is powered by actual computers, and uh. Siri shouldn't be powered by not actual computers. Why don't they just power it with a Mac Mini? Okay, server moving along. Um, yeah, so the, the big rumor now is that Apple is going to release a real TV, a real TV with a screen. Mm. Um, I mean, it's been a real rumor for years. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna stay a rumor forever. You think so? You don't think Absolutely. So? I don't think. I, I don't think so either. What they yeah. should do is they should just add a CD drive or even a DVD or Blu-ray drive to a Mac Mini. You they call definitely that an Apple need to do TV. that. They definitely won't add a Blu-ray to a Mac Mini, and they just took out the spinning optical drive of the Mac Mini. Yeah, I know that. That's the stupidest thing in the world. But is it I really? Ba- yes, well, it is. Why? What do you need that for? What do you need an Apple TV for? AirPlay. Yes, AirPlay, but uh, if you get a Mac Mini, I would much rather have a Mac Mini hooked up to my computer than an Apple TV. I also would agree with that. Um, but now you can't even do, do that. It well, can't even be that. a media player. But it could. You just get the $39 thingamajig and put it on top. It's the same size. It doesn't look like there's anything on top yes, of it. Yes, but it costs $39. It, uh, that's a smart cover. It, it's, yeah, it's a smart cover, and the uh, what is it called? Mac Mini already costs 799 if you get the good one. 
Yeah. Or what the, is it? Six ninety nine. Cheap one. I thought it was only like five ninety nine. I don't. Remember. It's really yeah, a little cheap. over five hundred. I yeah. think it was like six bucks. Uh, six hundred. Not hundred. <laughs> six, bucks. six bucks. Yeah. Six bucks. Wow. I gotta go. Six Give bucks me a and sixty six cents. Dollars. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, so he hooked for life. Yeah, but but uh, the, the big rumors are that you know a, a, a real TV will come out that makes it easy because in Isaacson's book, the Steve Jobs biography, uh, Steve Jobs allegedly said that he cracked it. What did he crack? Many things. Well, what what about a TV was a problem? Yeah, but- I think just the whole idea. Care to elaborate a little? Um, I don't know. Okay, good work. Good. Have, um, technology maybe may mm-hmm. have been the mm-hmm. thing. Yes, technology was the problem. But let's just look at other Apple displays. I know, like all Apple stuff, like like um, the new. Uh, um, IMAX, they have beautiful displays, mm-hmm. and like you can get the Apple monitors and stuff. Like they make great um, displays, but it's a but, thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then what? You just put some. You just put literally the Apple TV inside of that and call it a TV. That doesn't seem like it's a regular. Well, also the one thing that they got rid of was the thirty-inch Apple Cinema displays, and those would have worked better. So for what's a the TV next smallest the one? Is it twenty-seven? Twenty-seven is what they have now. Is that really that big of a difference? Well, yes. It can be. Okay. I would just get more than one, then. But I want screens that are, like, 54 inches wide. Yeah. Ah, but well, screens that wide aren't useful. It's better to have more screens. Well, just think about how much an Apple monitor would cost that's 54 inches. A lot. It'd yeah. be insane. Yeah. That's why... And, so, another, the other rumor is that when the new MacBook Pros come out, they're going to have increased resolutions to... Um, mm. or, so, and that's just like the iPad, too. The iPad's going to double its resolution. Ah. Mm-hmm. So, would the Apple TV have to have an increased de- uh, density? It would have to yeah. look amazing. I mean, it would have to make everybody in the world want to look at it as close as they can and say, "You know, I can't see the square. I can't see the aliasing." <laughs> or and and turn a black and white picture into color. Mm. Yes. <gasps> yeah. That is creepy. <laughs> so finally, uh, in Apple Land, what about the iPhone Five? What's that going to do? You know, because we mm-hmm. were it was kind of lackluster with an iPhone Four, even though it was the best selling iPhone ever. Mm-hmm. What is the iPhone, uh, Apple, Apple uh, iPhone five going to do? It's just going to get faster. That's about all they can do. You think so? Um, How is it going to look different? Didn't we read that there's different sc- like bigger screens, like wi- it's wider a rumor. screens? It's a rumor. Oh, they trying uh, to are they trying to make like a almost like a tablet? Well, the, the current, no, 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 it wasn't the, a tablet. The it was current like, screen is a three point five inch. Uh, mm. I think they want to go up to four. Well, oh. that's a rumor. Yeah, but like, it was going to be the same length, just a little bit wider. I thought they were going to uh, remove some of the bezel and increase mm. this. Like the physical size would remain the same, oh. but the bezel would go away so that it could be a little bit wider. Yeah. So and they're going to make it even more of a square. No, again, the physical size will be the same, but the screen. Will be a little bit wider, and it will be so small that you can attach it to your wrist and wear it. That that that's totally. That possible. sounds like the iPod Nano. In fact, yeah. that's kind of what they're doing. Um, I, I think um, the the rumors for the iPhone 4s before it was known as that, like the, the previous release, they a lot of things were pointing towards a tapered design, like this MacBook Air here. You know how it's mm-hmm. thick on the back and then tapers mm-hmm. off to the front. They, people were thinking that it could have a tapered design. And be like uh, this this kind of cast aluminum kind of deal. Mm-hmm. What do you mm-hmm. think of that? Um, no, I'm not sure. What if it had a flat back like the iPad 2? That would be kind of nice. Like, because a lot of people start saying, like, like, when you play multiplayer games, I know that's not an often thing with the iPad 1, but if you sit on a table, it just wobbles way too mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean... The uh, iPhone 4 right now, and the 4S, of course, has the flat back, but it's glass, so it's very weak. Yeah. So uh, what do you think they can do uh, to fix that? Make it actual metal. Metal, yeah. What, what are they going to do about the antennas, then? Because Wi-Fi antennas and 3G antennas can't go through metal. As well, well, they could do what they did with the uh, second-gen iPod, just put that little tiny plastic piece that on the back. That doesn't look nice. Yeah. It doesn't, but it works. Yeah, but it doesn't look nice. I think they want to make it look nice. What if they did plastic, like a whole back? A of... whole plastic back that looks pretty cheap too. No, but then paint it and make it look expensive. I think you could still feel it. You yeah, might you be can... able to. It all depends on how much work. What's your you're MacBook Air made out of? That's it's plastic, al- isn't it? No, this back is aluminum. So then, where's your this antenna? Is, this is glass, even though it sounds like plastic. Okay. So where's the antenna then? I imagine the antenna is running up along the side here. Like every computer I've taken apart, the antennas are always kind of by the screen, but. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's really it has to be different for the MacBook well, Air because it has to be see through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when we say that the MacBook Air stays see through, if you hold the MacBook Air to a light source, you can see, and you turn down the light on the MacBook Air, you can see the Apple imprint in the screen when you put point it towards the light because yeah. it's uh, see through. Yeah, it's that thin. I don't think it works with black lights. It really, it really wouldn't. <laughs> And they're not black lights, they're orbs of darkness emitting uh, dark radiation. Well, the one thing that Apple could do with the iPhone 5 is allow you to use, like, micro SD cards with it. That will not happen, ever. Yeah. I, I really wanted a micro SD card reader on my uh, iPad, because I don't want to have to spend another $100 for 64 gigs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, wow, that's kind of scary. It <laughs> would be nice, but I just don't see them adding another hole into their beautiful uh, iPad well, don't- design. Don't they already have an SD card reader for it? That for you what? Can, no. For the i, for the iPhone. No. Maybe they'll come out with that then. They have uh. the, the they have their SIM card slot, but it's micro SIM anyway. Mm, true. You know I don't. You know I have a micro SD card in my Android phone. And it actually ends up causing more problems than it solves. How so? So you, it gives you the option to move applications to the SD card, but Android sucks so much that when you restart the phone, it has to mount the card. But it can't. Hmm. It it can't always figure out how to remount the applications that are on the card. Oh. Mm. So you know, I had this problem with my MP3 player. Oh yeah. Um, because I had like I have a four gig MP3 player, mm-hmm. but then I had an eight gig SD card with the entire Dark Tower book series. Okay. Whenever I turned it on, it would have to import like it have to index the whole thing. Yeah. But it's because it's an MP4 player, it can't actually just do that because it's a piece of crap. Yeah. So you had to make sure that it never shut off. Pretty much. Yeah. See, I, I whenever I have like, I always have Google Plus and my Audible apps because you know Audible stores huge audio files for you know audiobooks. I always store that on the SD card because it makes sense to have that not on the main phone's memory. Yeah. Um, but then whenever I restart my phone, because you know last week I was doing finals or something, I would always shut my phone off during finals. Anytime I would bring it back, it would take you know hours to figure out how to get it back to, uh, back and you know mm-hmm. remounted. You know what I always hated about losing my audiobook place on my little Sansa E two hundred MP four player. You're only supposed to scroll through a three minute long song, but when you have a couple hour long audiobook segment, you just have to spin that wheel to the spot you left off, and it just takes forever. I always hated that, but yeah, so. The next one is for you Facebook users. Yeah, Facebook users. So uh, this year, they uh, just just uh, last couple weeks ago, they started to introduce timelines. So it's essentially a chronological timeline in um, the Facebook profile. It's kind of a weird thing, but uh, I, I just signed up for it a few days ago, and it just went live for me on Christmas. Hmm. Ah. None of us heard what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, yeah. We, we were we were doing stuff. I know. I I, I realized that. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, did you know that uh, Facebook is pretty much uh, you know growing exponentially? But I think it's slowing down now. So um, earlier this year, they said they had seven hundred forty million, and lately they said they've had eight hundred million. I thought they users. hit the billion mark. Already. No, they did not hit the billion mark yet. So, mm. do you think that? Facebook will reach that billion mark sometime next year. I think it's going to reach it, and then it's going to drop really fast. Do you think it'll reach it next year? Yeah, because weren't a bunch of people about to quit using Facebook already this year? Yeah, like, but it well, that's, never happens. Facebook so. keeps changing, and also then there's rumors that they're going to charge people to use they're it. Never going to charge people to use it. It doesn't even make sense for the business model. Yeah, it does not even make. They should charge, but it doesn't make sense. Well, the thing is, is the second they start charging, most people are just going to up and leave. And we'd go where? Nowhere. Okay. That's Google, even better. Google Plus, maybe? I hope they go nowhere. I hate social media. Moving along, though. Everybody should follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that social media? Okay. So, um, what do you think about Facebook and its privacy problems? I don't care. I, I mean, you don't use Facebook, so what do you think? I don't care. Okay, that it? I think they're working to fix them, but they still may have... I think they still so, have a long way to go. Okay, better question. Do you still use Twitter? Yes. Uh, Yes, I do. Why do people use Twitter? What's the point? It's short and... Uh, uh. The only reason I use it and the sole only reason is because some person I know would yell at me if I didn't. 
Who's that? <laughs> this one person just kept on pestering me, like, tweet, tweet, tweet. I want to know what you're doing. I want to know what you're doing. Tweet, tweet. Who's Sound that? like a bird. Yes, I'm trying to sound like a bird because I'm tweeting. <laughs> okay, that okay, actually but, makes um, sense. <laughs> anyways, so this person at my bus stop was like, you know what? Ah, come down to my basement. And so he set up my account. I have not made a Twitter account yet. Hmm. Um, I nice. uh, made somebody's made an alias Twitter account for me. Somebody's made a real Twitter account for me, yeah, and then this. emailed me the password. Like, <laughs> okay, okay, just just do this, and now this tweet. Okay, so hmm. so this year t- Twitter's done two big things. They they introduced the new website design mm-hmm. twice. Oh, twice. I, I have, I've never used a website. I never used a website either. Uh, they just redid it a couple of weeks ago, actually, when they did the second thing. It's kind of nice. Um, which would be releasing new Twitter clients. Really? Yes, they release new Twitter clients. So if you go on TweetDeck now, it looks different. Instead mm. of being yellow, it's blue. Well, I like yellow. One of the other things they also did is they are now integrated into... Uh, oh, yeah, the iPhone. Yeah, they're integrated iOS. into it. Yeah, that's mm. not, that's a big thing, too. Uh, apparently, when uh, that rolled out, so when uh, iOS 5 came out with the iPhone and then you know subsequently iPod and mm-hmm. app, iPad, the Twitter volume uh, increased maybe 60%. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So, um... Well, I think uh, I think the reason why it increased is because it just was a lot more accessible and you didn't have to go off and install some third-party application. Yeah, definitely. I think so, too. And also because on Android, you can send it to any, any source, but on iPhones and iOS in general, you actually have to be integrated into the system or just paste it in a hand. Yeah. So that does make a big difference. When it's just one button, it really makes it easy. Yeah. Okay. And so, what's next? Uh, You know, let's talk about HP really quick, because, you know, I actually have an HP touchpad. In other words, HP. So what do you think of them? Uh, mm. See, see, I I actually bought one of their uh, HP touchpads. Uh, What'd you pay for it? Uh, I had a gift card, so I paid only $77. But okay. it was, uh, but it was the ninety nine dollar deal. It was the ninety nine dollar deal. Okay, that's good. So they launched the touchpad, and six weeks later they killed it. Yeah, it and then they brought it back because the manufacturers wanted to build more. Because right. they started a whole line just to make ten of them. You know, it's not a big, not a big uh, time to see if your product will be successful in the future. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know what uh, for. Let's see, ninety nine dollars. What else? What other tablet can compete with that price? I mean, a Kindle could try, but it's not a tablet, so I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's in the cost of its own. I mean, the Fire is two hundred, right? Yeah, one ninety nine. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the Fire isn't even that good, but the touchpad's a lot worse. Yeah. So you've actually you I haven't used the Galaxy Tab yet, um, and you have. How would you compare the? Um, I've used. They're both I've, Android based, right? Yeah. Well, I can tell you that the Galaxy Tab seven inch is two point two, Android point two point two. So it's not made for tablet form factor. It's still phone based. That's the point. Okay. Um. So it's not using Honeycomb or three. Uh. So it's not optimized for big sizeness. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Speed wise, I think the Galaxy Tab probably was faster, but I don't know because you know, I didn't play with them long. Yeah. But so, what's the best thing about the HP Touch besides mm. its price? It has good speakers. It does have good speakers. Okay. Um, like, how is it accuracy? Like on the touchpad? Like I've, I've, I've used touch you, devices. It's that, funny you ask. Yeah. Man, it's frustrating. The keyboard is fantastic. I can. That's the only redeeming quality. But when you're pressing on things, there's no indication that something has happened. Okay, so if I'm on a website and I click a link to go to the next page... It takes a while to notice something has happened. And I don't know if that's part of the touch response or just the overall system sluggishness. Okay, so it's a problem for both. I don't know. Can't tell. Huh. But I can tell you the keyboard is great. So that's good. So I can actually type reasonably fast on the keyboard. Like 20 words per minute. Hmm. And I know you have Skype installed on it. Or not yeah, Skype, but yeah, Google it's, Talk. it's Skype. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, I heard that you can rig your phone to go off through a, your um, <laughs> HP Touch. So I, I uh, linked my phone Bluetooth into uh, my HP Touch. And uh, when you called me one time, uh-huh. 
Mm-hmm. My phone wouldn't let me answer. The HP Touch would only let me answer. And so I was talking to you through a bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it sounded... I mean, considering all that was happening, it sounds pretty good, even through a bag. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so... So, um, what's what's up next? How about Ubuntu? Ah, uh, Ubuntu. Yeah, so this will be a good one. Uh, where to begin this long, sad story? Well, I think it's a good place to begin where it all started. 1004. Tell us about 1004. This wasn't this year. This was Lucid obviously... Links. This was This was last year, or very early last year. So tell us about that. I remember um, when I first started using Ubuntu, um, I started with um, Hardy Heron. And that that was nine ten, mm-hmm. and then um, I was using it. and I'm like, hey, this is wonderful. Um, I like this a lot. And then I'm like, ah, but I kind of don't like the looks of it and feels of it. Um, hmm. And then a couple weeks later, something brand new and wonderful came out. Lucid Links. Um, it was beautiful. Um, I thought I was the coolest kid in the world because I could set it up on a thumb drive, and then boot up, carry it with me, and then boot off all of it. Um, so I had a lot of fun with that, but it was just easy to use. Like, it was just a standard GNOME interface, like all the stuff where you could just logically find what you're looking for. Like, mm-hmm. if you're trying to find how to change the resolution of monitors, you go to, like, um, um, administration and then monitors or something like that. Um, I haven't used it in a while because I can't stand it anymore. Um, yeah. I, I used it every day. That was my primary operating system until 11.04 came out. So tell us about 11.04. 11.04... Was Which a, came out this year, just so you know, that, hence the 11 in the name? Yes. Yeah. What was that one called? I don't remember. Uh, 11.04. Natty Narwhal. Natty Narwhal. Where the t-shirts did not feature the horn of said narwhal, it featured the tail of said narwhal. Exactly. Yes. That's how badly this was planned. I think we skipped a meerkat. But oh well, doesn't matter. That was 1010, right? Yeah. 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 That was okay. Uh, but 1010 is 10.04 with Ubuntu 1 integration. Eh, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, well, I'll get to Ubuntu 1. That, that's also part of my rant. Uh, <laughs> so, this beautiful thing didn't change much. Um, wait, wait. That, that's for 1010. 11.04, back to Natty Narwhal. Um, it started a new terrible spree called Unity. And why is that funny? Because what is what does Ubuntu mean? Uh, humanity towards each other. Mm-hmm. Which well, that, is that sounded really funny. I can't yeah. say that. Don't worry about it. But that's that's essentially what Unity is. So it's it's funny that that's what they're calling that system. Well, Unity drove apart the entire community. It really did. Uh, so tell us what it looks like. Describe it in simple words. So if you're trying to find what you're looking for, unless you know the exact path of it. You have no hope of finding it, ever. So, so um, I think everybody listening would be at least familiar with Windows XP, so everybody knows what the taskbar is like. Yeah. So, uh, and, and everybody knows where the uh, menu button on Windows, you know, the menu button, the green button in the corner, to bring up all programs and then recently used things, and maybe even my computer and other stuff, right? You know where that, you know where that. blue. Whatever, it's green, blue, same thing. Very blue. I don't remember I haven't um, seen I haven't seen Windows XP in years. Yeah, Apple user. I don't know. I I've been beta testing seven for eight years. But anyway, <laughs> how is yeah. that possible? But uh, Windows seven, uh, I mean Windows XP, it, it has the look of you know menu button and then a bunch of programs on you know on that taskbar. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Ubuntu eleven oh four and Unity, it essentially makes everything go vertical. So the um, menu like button is now at the very top of the screen and uh, along the side are the tasks or the programs you have running. Yeah. So uh, it's not a very good system. The only thing I liked about Unity was um, its ability to quick search for stuff. You know, like, you, you don't know, search light. It's, it's funny, it's funny that you mention that, Spotlight. Spotlights, yeah. You know, it's funny you mention that because Windows 8, that's exactly how it is too. One thing about um, Windows 7 I liked is that um, you could also search for stuff. Like, it had a good, nice index of all the files. Yeah. Where, like, the Ubuntu quick, uh, the Unity search, it didn't look for, for through your files. It looked for your application. So when the quick search for what you're looking for... Um, I was just using it the other day. Like, And it does now. 11, 11.10 does. Okay, I, I, I disowned it. Yeah, I yeah. understand. Um, I have so so tell 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 us about the adventure of installing Chrome, for example. 
Oh, um... So everybody knows so, my favorite browser, Chrome. Well, it's impossible to install on 11 of 10. Let's back this up a second. So where did Ubuntu come from? France. Okay, so do everybody know Debian? Debian. Okay, okay. so everybody knows Debian. Go ahead. Um, Debian is wonderful, but it, it doesn't have a nice uh, graphical interface. Um, and that's where Ubuntu kind of changes it. It takes Debian and makes it more user-friendly. Yes. Um, but in an actual helpful way where Unity is supposed to be the most user-friendly thing in the world, but it's not. No. Um, you know, maybe Unity is okay, but we're just not used to that method of using it. No, 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 I'm, sure, I'm sure normal people wouldn't even notice. I'm sure normal people don't do anything but check their browsers. That's what I'm stuff. saying. I'm sure normal people wouldn't care. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that, though. Um, but, so, basically, oh, I lost my train of thought. That's okay. Well, Unity's awful. Um, you can't search for things. You were asking where uh, Ubuntu came from. Definitely. Yeah, but what was it? What was I trying to conclude from that? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't privy to that information. However, um, so so uh, Ubuntu and Unity ha- have obviously been broken. And uh, what about Ubuntu One, their cloud system? Okay, I, I just remembered. Um, we're trying to talk about installing a dev file. Yeah, um, that's right. <laughs> sorry, um, it, I, I'm confused right now. It's getting late. Yeah, or earlier. I don't know. I don't know. Continue. Regardless of the current time. Big week. Huge. Um, <laughs> oh, man, there's something wrong with my brain today. Um, so, DB, you want to use just Debian, but easier to use. And uh, you all know that like it uses the Aptitude Package Manager, and you can install like, .deb files and all the other stuff. And so uh, you'd expect that... Um, you want to a child of Debian would be able to install like parent offering stuff. Like it still uses Aptitude and stuff, but um, you can't you install .debs out of the box, which um, is insane. You need to go to the Ubuntu Software Center and type in like um deb installer something or like that. g or g deb installer yeah. or something like that. It mm-hmm. just has a g in it because everything does. Um, I assumed it was always for GNOME, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, because um, I know I know when, when I ran KDE things, everything had a K in it. Yeah, yeah, but that's another day. Oh, I, I uh, can't stand KDE either. Actually, not, no, the new one looks no, good. It's too blocky. It's better than messed up Unity stuff. So, what about Ubuntu One? Ah, uh, um, um, it's a lot like Dropbox, except for it's a lot slower. Is it? Um, Does it work cross platform? Th- Yes, it does. That's pretty um, clever. You can also use it from like your Android phone. Um, I'm pretty sure they have an app for the Apple Store. Um, it's, like when you're uploading stuff to Dropbox, it's pretty quick. But when you upload stuff to you want to one, it's really slow. But the download speed is still pretty good. Hmm. So it just takes a little longer to set up your files. But it's nice that um, newer versions of Ubuntu has that integrated straight into it. So you just sign in, and then all your normal files are that. So do you think that'll be uh, successful at all? Um, I do, because unlike Dropbox, like everybody knows that the first two um, gigabytes are really nice and it's cheap and it's free. That's and then it, and then it scales way up too fast. Um, last I looked, it was like um, two ninety nine per month, or was it? Yeah, for oh, uh, fifty gigabytes for Dropbox or one for you one to one. Yeah, because I know yeah. for Dropbox the the prices are outrageous. Yeah, but for like it was like three bucks a month, you get fifty gigabytes of storage. Mm-hmm. Uh, real nice, cheap cloud storage. Um, you don't have to configure anything; just log in. As like, you log into your computer, and then you click. You just it either auto logs in for you, or just hit a button, and um, you just have everything seamlessly done for you. It also um, does like Ubuntu has um, oh, what's it? Tommy Notes or Tom Note. Or what's the I forget the default um, thing for um, you want to, but the default note editor, like all the stuff, could save straight into there, so you can share all your notes with yourself. Um, it's real nice, and plus they also have a new music, uh, like in their Android app, you can stream music better. Like you can also you want to one has like a download store now. Hmm. Yeah, I have not ever purchased anything through that, though, yet. I, I would never do that, either. Yeah. It seems weird to purchase software for Ubuntu. 
considering that you'll never use it or keep it I mean, around for more than a day. music, so it's not really software. Okay, but... well, but I mean, something like that. You shouldn't use a credit card when you're using that. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think we should do next? How about, how about Sony and their major breach? Yeah. And so you're, this is relevant to you because you have a PlayStation. So I, I got a uh, PS3 over the summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think um, the, the major breach was a little bit earlier in the year, like March-ish. I don't remember for sure, but um, I, I, yeah. the, the major breach essentially, uh, Sony was shut down. The uh, internet services were shut down for weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah uh, and in Japan, it was for a lot longer. Yeah, in Japan, it was a lot longer because the, government Japan- cares for their people. the Japanese government didn't trust Sony at all. Yeah. Yeah. Which is... So, was, do you know anything about the breach? Um, not too much. So, so nobody knows for sure who did it, but, but you know, Anonymous was allegedly involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then there were some other groups that also wanted to uh, say they did it, so nobody knows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then after the main breach, the big breach, there were other little breaches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it just happened over and over again. Yeah, but the first one was, you know, that's the most important. Yeah, so I I remember reading a story about this uh, person who got a PS3 on that on the day that the big breach happened. And then, you know, the servers were just down for, for months after. But this person also didn't qualify for the reimbursement program for not having Sony services for three months. Yeah. So. Uh, and what was the compensation for having their down for three months? Um, some free games or something. Yeah, but it, I thought it was like you had to, you got most of it, for, you got a really junk game, and then you got the ability to buy a new game at a discount or something. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't a good deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Amazon. What do you know about Amazon? What did Amazon do this year? Well, um, besides saving a lot of money on textbooks. So I um, remember Amazon um, really pushing their instant movie thing earlier this year, and they also released the their app store this year. Early, yeah, I remember. It was early, okay. early this year in, like, June. Early this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but earlier this year, they released their, their app store. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That was... A lot earlier than June. You think so? I don't remember. There's snow on the ground. Uh, there's not snow on the ground in June. That's not on the ground in December either. Exactly. Especially okay. here in Minnesota. Okay. Well, anyway, oh. they, they released their um, app store, and everybody wondered why they were releasing an app store, and of course that points to making a tablet. Yeah. And what did they do? They made the Kindle Fire. Yeah. How, how, how do you think that will fare in the new year? I don't know how well. Um, I know there's a lot of physical problems with it, and it's kind of. I heard the speed was okay. It's just that there's some poor placement of buttons. Um, but they heard. I heard it was light and it was pretty nice to hold. But it it needs to be revised a little. So I mean, I I know the uh, new big uh, Kindle Fire update just came out right before Christmas, and mm. it addressed some issues like previously uh, anything you did was stored in your main screen history. So, you know how the Kindle Fire's interface, you just swipe through all of the things you've been using recently. Yeah. So if you just read a book, it would be in first. If you just went to some website, it would be second. Mm-hmm. You couldn't edit that history. Um, uh, so the new big update just fixed that. So you can swipe out things that you don't want in your history. And they changed like how um, the page turning momentum stuff. So pages actually turn right now, which That's is kind nice. of important considering yeah. that it's a Kindle device. So I know that I know that I know they've done that. So do you think the rumors of a larger uh, Kindle Fire are good? Um, I mean that's what they kind of done with their other stuff in their line. Like they had the Kindle and then they had the Kindle DX, um, which was ridiculously more expensive. Yeah, uh, prohibitively more expensive. Yeah, I hope the Fire. If they do make a um, larger screen on it, it would be a lot cheaper, or not a lot, lot cheaper, but like. Reasonably, reasonably, reasonably. So it'd just increased. be hundred dollars more, one hundred fifty dollars more. Yeah, that's not reasonable. like four hundred dollars more. So, do you think a um, if it was the iPad size, so nine point seven? Mm-hmm. Do you think um, three ninety nine is fair? Uh, see, I hope they change other things too. I don't think I'd spend four hundred dollars. I think I'd I mean, spend hundred dollars uh, more on an iPad. Really? Yeah. Why wouldn't you just get an iPad anyway? I guess so. Yeah, that's that's what I've always coming you back. You can get to. the Kindle app, and the Kindle app for the iPad is really nice. Well, it lets you read books, but you don't get to watch the movies as easily 
at Orif at all. Yeah, but um, I know everybody uses their tablet to watch movies, but I hate that. Um, but, but a lot of people do it. I don't, I don't know how they can manage. I hate holding this thing in front of me while I'm trying to watch an hour-long movie. You it don't hold it. Get a case that doesn't suck. Mine explode. You know, but it's just wherever I can set it down. Like a lot of time when you like, advertise, like there people are riding the buses and the commercials uh, for it. That, that doesn't. And work. then they have the headphones on. There is no way you're going to watch a movie while you're on a bus. Let me tell you that. At least when you're not when you're riding down university. Oh yeah. <laughs> Because if you think you hit the Kindle when you got on, you'll know you don't have it when you get off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so what, what, what about these uh, Amazon phones? Oh, I, I really hope they come out with a f- good phone. So how would you? How do you think that would work? Do you think it would be subsidized? Um, I don't think it would be, but I think the plans might be. Like, okay, so, I, uh, so, so explain what you think about that. Um, I mean, they, they, first they're going to, like, they're not going to, I don't know how to explain it. There's only rumors right now. But, but what, what I want, think? what I want, that's what I want to know. Yeah, I want just like an Android phone, just kind of reskinned and making it look nice, because that's mm-hmm. basically what the fire is. Isn't yeah, it? Mm-hmm. Um, this little Android-based thing. Um, you know what kind of what would they name it? Like, like it has to be named something kind of fire-like. Kindle phone. That, that sounds too weird. That sounds but like I'm, the trend they're going. But I don't want it to be advertised as a book reader because people oh, do no, not read no, books hold on, on phones. Hold, hold, Oh, you'd be surprised. But it'd be, probably be something absurd like Kindle Fire Phone 7 phones. <laughs> mm. No? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, but I just wanted just so, a little Android phone. But for the pricing, I think I think the the, the handset price would probably be you know, uh, comparable to the Kindle Fires. Mm-hmm. You know, 200 bucks for a phone, 150 100 something like that. But the plans, I think, are the biggest concern. How do you yeah. think the, they can settle the plan issue? I don't even know who's going to be their carrier. I imagine they'd get out of as many carriers as possible. Yeah. Um, I, don't know, I just want I don't know, Sprint. It seems to be the cheapest way to go now. Well, for unlimited data, anyway. Mm, yeah, but that's kind of what everything is. If you have um, unlimited data, you just you know, Google Talk with everybody. But, but not everybody has Google Talk. That's not a solution for everybody. That's... Gonna be, but it's not. I can't. It doesn't scale right. Like okay. unless unless they could get Google Talk to take over the phone app and the text message app, which they can't, unless they worked with Google, um, it won't work. Like on the Kindle Fire, there is no Google Market, Android Market, so that also means that there's no Gmail app, there's no Google Reader app, there's no Google app on the Kindle Fire. Mm-hmm. So, without those apps, how could you make a phone and call it Android still? Hmm. It, it'd be kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, uh, it's Amazon, so I don't think they'd send out complete rubbish. Like, no, but I mean... I know uh, the fire is kind of questionable, but... It is kind of questionable. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. They say that they really might have more news on it at the end of 2012. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, anything else you think about big plans for next year? Um, not really. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, we're gonna launch something special. So, I think we've been hinting at this, actually, for yeah. many, many podcasts now. Eight of them. Well, this isn't technically one of those, so, uh, seven of them. Oh, wait, six. There was the one unpublished incident. I, I don't even know what happened. That that one is... But it will be... Yeah. In the, you can listen to a secret podcast. Yeah, make sure you turn the volume down before you start. Let me tell you something. It was a little bit boring, a little bit dry. And after, you don't need to listen to me ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, what, so what, new what, studio. Yeah. So uh, I think we've hinted at a new studio being available. Uh, and hey, you know, you sound really good today. Yeah, I think we've done this before. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we've actually ever published one that had that in it, but uh, we tried several times. <laughs> yeah, we we've tried a lot. You know, we actually did this podcast three times today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's why we're kind of completely clueless, clueless here. Yeah, something happened during the intermission. Yeah, this is like our fifth time. Um, so our new studio, what do we call again? The Nexus. There, I believe there's a little bit after that. Dot TV? Yeah, there you go. Very important you 
don't leave that part out. Oh, that's the studio is the Nexus. Our address is the Nexus dot com. Dot TV dot TV. Oh, uh, I, I got to do something about this. Yeah, because I just googled the Nexus dot com, oh. and you know it's not available. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Um. What? So what had the ne- what was on the Nexus dot com? Uh, some advertising. Uh, mm-hmm. so, so have you been noticing a lot? Like a lot of domains are just advertising. A lot of dot TV domains are advertising. Yep. They're just they're just purchased. They don't have anything on them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, having in your studio, it's it's really quite revolutionary to be able to hear yourself and the other person speaking in high definition. Yeah, no, nothing exploding in the background, no pipes, no I mean, uh, parents. It, it's parrots? Parents. Parrots. Parrots, too. Okay. Uh, so, it, it's... They it, could be your friend for life. I can't stand the guy. <laughs> I don't know why. He's not acceptable. Yes, he is. No. Yes, he is. Not at all. He is a genius. Um, in the state of insanity, indeed. No, 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 no. Who are we he, talking about? Richard Stallman, I think? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Who else would... Yes. <laughs> Couches and parrots will rule the world one day. Or did not really rule the world, just be a staple. Everybody needs to have a parrot and a couch. Indeed. Well, uh, so... Yeah, we'll be launching in uh, mid to late January, and uh, we'll have these podcasts and probably a few more up by then. And uh, I guess this is our kind of big reveal, and obviously nobody's going to hear any of this because this is at the end of the podcast. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anybody's going to get past the intermission. I don't, did we even get past the intermission? Uh, it's something happened to my mind. I didn't make it. Ms. Murtak. Yeah. Yeah. I need to find the elixir of intelligence again. It's not available anymore. It's sold out. Uh, it must have been a seasonal item. It is. Mm, that's too bad. But yep. It'll be around next year. I doubt it. Well, either way, this is Matthew Butchell signing off. And this is Ryan Rampersad. Have a good one. <laughs>